Conrad's person. Is it the one that we just arrested? No, there's no carport here. Anything flashier. I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. <laughs> See what we can do, sir. Somebody's feeling like spending money. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home, sir. Oh. Do you? <laughs> Why do you sound so creepy? Uh, maybe Conrad's person is not... Because I thought it was the store lady here, but she's been arrested already. Or actually, she just went home. She wasn't arrested yet. All right. Let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to 116,420 credits. Oh, of course. I, uh, <laughs> I just need to make a call. I should uh, check the warranty first. Loser. <laughs> hey, he might come back with the money later. Don't insult your customers. Okay. Uh... Um, if Conrad's person is, are they beyond this place? The weapons merchant. We haven't seen a weapons store yet. Oh no. Okay, let me just check in here. Dossier, just a car. Yeah, okay, we'll read this after we go past the middle section here. Let's see. The weapons store... It might be Barrier Frontiers, so we definitely have to get past the choke point here. Okay. Shipping. Oh. Wait, what? By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried Exeter. New Exoderm. Oh. Wait, hold on. This is not where I was expecting Listen, to be. I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Nasana, was that the Asari we killed back in one? Excuse me, I'm on an important call. The lady who had a sister who works on the Citadel, was it? was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have yeah, maintained yeah. that the VI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, it is unlikely any charges will be filed. But don't you gotta figure out what happened though? Cause why did that VI just suddenly turn into an AI? It's not normal, is it? Hello? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Oh. Will you ever not be busy? Well, we're surprisingly just looking right out to the city. Yeah. Asari? We usually think of them as being blue, but there are some more purple ones too. Just making an observation, you know, don't know too much about Asari overall. Um, where are we going? Where does this go? Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Okay. Somehow I feel like we just skipped Liara's office. Oh my god! It's skippable. Oh, okay, well, I mean, we're here anyway, so I guess we'll continue looking around. Especially to find the weapons lady. I didn't do that on purpose though, okay? I didn't think we were gonna be able to skip past her. But I guess they wanted to let me do it on my own time. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Wow, we're seeing so many people we know! Shiala! Shepard! 
I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How could I forget you? You're green. Actually, I thought the main one, the normal one, was normal colored. But the, the clones were green. Wasn't that the case? How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. Really? And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Exogeny actually wants the help, even though they had that one guy who was like a super bootlicker? The accounting guy? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. <laughs> why are you green? Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Oh dear, that's a very visible illness. I can imagine other Asari not taking kindly to you. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Man, if you asked me back when I was still like a normal Spectre, I would have all the money I could give you, but now I'm kind of broke too. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Okay. We were just headed there anyway. Were you the same weapons lady I'm supposed to be looking for? Erinya. Yeah, you are the... No, star charts. Star charts? Navigation charts? I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests, something that will work for both sides. 
If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. You're using people's as health problems to blackmail them, essentially. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. Oh. Maybe we know her daughter. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Sometimes it's just a little bit hard to see things when we don't place ourselves in people's shoes. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Wordlessly, we solve the issue. I like that. Nothing more needs to be said because we both understood it intrinsically. Yo, the lady left her stand. I guess we can't get a discount here. Star charts? Navigation charts? Do I need these? It's cheap enough that I can buy them. Although I don't know why I'm buying them. Minos Wasteland. Pylos Nebula. Especially because the Hades Nexus, didn't we already finish looking at that? Delivered to the Norman Depending. Oh, is it like a map that we can display? Mm. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Harder for people to understand certain things when they don't experience it for themselves, but maybe sometimes a gentle nudge is enough to get them to realize that, hey, this is not right. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form? Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the new contracts. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Hmm? Oh? What was that? <laughs> Am I like some kind of an Asari magnet? Sometimes I kind of feel that way. By the way, just a fashion tip. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Yeah, her daughter must have been that one lady that we talked to, who we talked to to schedule the appointments with the consort. Anyways, I was saying, Shiala, just a little bit of a fashion advice tip. Not that I'm like a guru, but you might not want to wear green when your skin is green. Doesn't make your complexion look good. Nothing to declare. Move along. Okay. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. Right. Yeah, just like the bartender. Asari mating with Asari is a big taboo thing. Which I guess for like the diversity of the galaxy, that's a good thing. But the way they talk about it, 
they look down on purebloods. It's not even just like a, oh, that's just different from us. No, they look down on it. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. Ardat Yakshi. They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your father again? Salarian. Oh, so you probably never really got to know him, did you? No. Shut up. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. Because of the life expectancy difference? Hey, we should keep going around people. Like, everyone has, like, a full set of dialogue. Did you get the star charts? Okay. Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. What do we have over here? Weapons merchant. You're sh Oh! Can I help you with something? Sorry, what were you gonna say? Do you want to say it again? Never mind. Did you want to say it again? <laughs> what about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. People shopping. Heartwarming to see a lot of interspecies relationships. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? Don't even start with me. Do they really care about stuff like lineage? Well, as a scientist, you want to pass on your... Like, what would you call that? Tribal knowledge and all that? You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. People are generally only at the weapon store if they want to join the Blue Suns or the Eclipse and stuff. Those organizations are legal, even though we've never seen anything good done by them. They're all mercenary organizations, right? What about you? Going to try and make it okay. as a commando? Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Funny, I've never met a undercover cop who freely said, I'm an undercover cop. <laughs> Remember that one lady, the human lady, back in, uh, Korra's den? <laughs> okay. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Thanks, and see you never. Okay. Now I buy all your stuff. Heavy skin weave! Oh, there's no discount on this, right? Because I feel like if there is, the number shouldn't be rounded out. Yeah. See, this is a discount, but the rest of this is not, it's not discounts. Amplifier plates. Alanis Risk Control Services, ERSCS. Shoulder protection. Anyway, heavy skin weave, 30% health. Good. This looks interesting. Look, I am broke. Oh, what the frick? Are you kidding me? I'm broke again. Oh, I'm never going to be able to afford everything I want. This is just the way it is. There's a crow in here. Oh, blue rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Did I walk in on something? Blue Rose of Ilium, you have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. 
but beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where are your honored dead? To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. How romantic. Is that the blue rose? Blue rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us, here and now. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble and mute, to offer you a home. Come to me, Blue Rose of Ilium. Let our three hearts beat as two. Wow, very poetic Krogan we've got here. They don't all just think about battle. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. Are you the blue rose in question? Into the hot soil of Tachanka. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless. Which, <laughs> Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well... We're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> Aww. Well, as long as he's not bothering you. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle <laughs> down with someone dependable. You have blossomed in a tower He's got a good job. Plastic. So why are the two of you on a break? What He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Where Char is a great guy to date, but to for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they I die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. I know this isn't the case, probably, but... <laughs> It just makes me think about me and Liara, too. Is that what she thinks about me, too? I don't know, man, because honestly, our situation is kind of like, what if... Blue Rose of Ilium. Char, can you please Leave be quiet for a second? And what if and one of us fell into a medical coma for two us. years? Would Here you expect the other person to just wait? indefinitely for the person to wake up? I feel like that's unfair, too. So if she really did find someone else, like I feel like that's... Very understandable, and I would not fault her for it. But on the other hand, how do I feel? How do I feel? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Oh, he sounds so sweet. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. God, this is too damn realistic, man. Making a difference between dating somebody and marrying somebody. <laughs> I mean, he sounds sweet, but I don't know if you have reasons for... It, he sounds so sweet! I am going to exert my influence as commander of the galaxy and say that you two should be together. Look at him, he's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Oh, I love this. A lot of like little lighthearted things going on in Ilium and just, you know, mundane things like dating problems. You're all leaving your fish. stores. She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Oh. 
Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Ilium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin <laughs> color in the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. A buying stuff for his wife? Salarian dad and a sorry daughter. Her first mate. Your father? He got her things when he traveled. Oh! It's not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. And I'm almost 35. Hey, I remember him. And I want to remember you. That's why I came on this trip. Oh, this is rough. Maybe because this is like a sorry home world. We're seeing a lot of these like life expectancy and reproduction related problems. Not a fish. Something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. How about this one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. <laughs> I like the blue shifting one too. What about a fish? She mm. loves the garden. We could add a pond. Preject paddlefish. Flat blue fish known for their odd locomotion and feeding habits. Thank you, Kelly. Oh god, Kelly. Oh, oh my god. Uh, wait, we just had dinner. Shepard and Kelly just had dinner. Nothing went on in that room. Yeah. Alliance cruiser, Kodiak shuttle. That's the thing that we go out on in the Normandy. Athabasca class freighter. Very cool. She now I'm even more broke than before. Dad. It's just, yeah. we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? I don't think I have anything on my shoulders, right? So I guess I will buy this, even though, I mean, it's kind of cheap. With the rest of it, maybe I'll come back later, maybe I won't. Okay! I am 60 years old and finally out of my parents' okay. house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. I'm telling you, relax. Thax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody uh -huh. is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Excuse me? I'm on a call. Just a car. Just a car. Uh, what is a just a car exactly? Okay, I don't think we can go anywhere here. A Justicar is like someone who exacts justice. Justicar Samara, biotic strength near that of an Asari matriarch, extensive weapons training. Samara is a Justicar, a rare member of an Asari monastic group trained in enhanced combat biotics alongside standard weapons. Samara was recently sighted on Ilium, outside normal Asari space. Even though it's very much Asari-like around here. Okay, I don't. Um, For example, you know that yeah. new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours plus overtime. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. This is Novaria 2.0. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Well, it's kind of like how the courts say that. If you have a conditions of use agreement that's too long, you can't expect people to read it because it's like 20,000 pages long. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. <laughs> wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Surprisingly, there's a lot of pure blood people around here, huh? I thought that was like a really taboo thing, but even just with an ilium. Maybe because there's an over-representation of Asari here. We've already seen three pure blood people. Four, including Liara. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. 
The stupid drug users you're laughing at? I might have been one of them. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Oh, man. Fight breaking out here. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. Yeah, I think we point. need to go Danger here. Means more contract work for us. To, like, get to the Justicar or something, judging by the call. But it's probably not enabled because we didn't talk to Liara yet. So let's go talk to Liara. You know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for visitor, shipping. Then a the form of a rare years. Justicar calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview, leaving us in the dark about what brought a Justicar to the fringes of Asari space. Nevertheless, Ilium News is pleased to offer a special report on the history and current politics of this rare group. Justicar, a rare group. Why is it just a car here? Where are they normally? Just not here. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Okay, sorry. Hungry, then come to the you know, back when Mass Effect 2 came out, Bluetooth wasn't even that popular, was it? I'm not sure, but everyone's like, you know, wireless phones and all that, but not exactly. I guess, I mean, I don't know, you have neural implants or something, neural audio implants. Doesn't even look like anybody's holding anything. The division of Elkos Combine. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Oh my god, Liara's got her own office out of everybody here. You're Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I can only remember Liara as um, like a shy archaeologist interested in studying Protheans. And to become someone well-versed with information, you need a lot of contacts, like she just mentioned. Uh, Nick Zaris here. She just never really struck me as the kind of person who's very social. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Why do I have a feeling the personal goals involve me? I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. What if she's been like trying to look for information on me or something? Ooh! Perfect sync, guys! Hey guys, we're gonna go meet Liara! Aren't you excited? <sighs> okay, beyond this door. Beyond this door is Liara to Sony. Anything we need to think about before then? Yeah, I just think... Oh, she's probably seen me walking around already. <laughs> I... I don't know, like... My feelings for her? Okay, I just know that it is completely normal if she's already completely forgotten about me. It's been two years and I don't expect her to, like just endlessly wait for me, especially because there was no indication that I would ever come back. I was dead for real. So, yeah. Have you faced an Asari oh commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Oh. Whoa, 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 there's people. Okay. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Well, I was thinking about maybe overthinking about all sorts of things, but it doesn't seem like any of that was necessary. Did we have to do that in front of Garrus and Tali, though? Oh, it's not even their first time seeing that, too. Remember, Garrus and Tali were who I brought with me to the concert, too. Anyway, though, um... I feel like I had a very visceral reaction just now when I heard her voice for the first time in, like... 
two years, two in-game years, right? Since, well, actually, for a shepherd, she wasn't conscious during those two years. But anyway, it just felt very like, oh my god, it's Liara, when I heard her voice. But at the same time, like, oh no, like, she's very clearly different now. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bill since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm kind of torn here. I feel like this is so selfish though. You just walk in here and you're like, hey man, come with me. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thang Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Okay, good. This is back. I was wondering about that. Nasana. Okay, so it's not the dead Asari from the first one. What was her name? Hmm. <sighs> I know she just gave me a lot of information and I'm like... This is a, a lot more clinical conversation than I expected it to be. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. <sighs> Things have changed. She's not the little girl who we rescued out of Therum anymore. She's grown up. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Anything for you. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Okay. And of course I trust you unconditionally, too. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Okay. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. Shepard, set up. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Okay, Liara. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Well, the Shadow Broker thing is the DLC, right? So I didn't talk about it. 
Um... Okay, I know we're very busy right now, but I just can't believe how we didn't even, like, get to talk about anything. Everyone's busy. She's busy, I'm busy. Liara's probably the busiest of all the people, all of our OG crew that we've been picking up from I everywhere. How lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so and it seems like she's not interested in joining me, just like Ashley. Well, they, you can kind of see it if you think about it a little bit because what they've done here is they've made it so that all of your potential love interests from the first one will not be in your crew. That's just the way they've decided to go and it's a bit cruel from like a player perspective because it's like, oh no, the person I romanced in the first one is no longer available. What do I do now? But it is what it is.